Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here. Today we're looking into the history of the Buccaneer class. This pirate brawler has undergone many changes, from a slow, heavy hitter to a laser firing pirate to sea serpent based skills. This class underwent a ton of changes over the years. Pirates arrived in Maple Story with a bang back in 2008. They were the first two new classes to be released into Maple Story Global. Some other regions, like Maple Story Europe, first released the Night of Sickness before the Explorer of Pirates, which kind of was a weird dynamic because that was the first introduction of the Pirates branch without actually having any Explorer of Pirates. But that's how it went back then. Pirates were never super popular back in those days, compared to the Dexless Assassins and the Dragon Knights, and the Buccaneer was no exception. Buccaneers had a very unique and slow playstyle until around 2012. Back then, pirates learned a total of three different attacking skills in their first job, so all the way back when they were first released. There was Double Shot, the classic Somersault Kick and Flash Fist, as well as a few passives, but in classic old school Maple Story fashion, you couldn't max all of those, so you had to choose wisely. Pirates also learned a dash during their first job, which was pretty unique back then until the Aaron class was released. Buccaneers really were a staple of how slow the grinding was all those years ago. In their second job, they learned three different attacking skills. There was Double Uppercut, which only hit one monster two times. Corkscrew Blow that had to be charged, but also only hit three monsters. And Backspin Blow. I distinctively remember using this skill for grinding back in those days, because you didn't need to charge it, it would still at least hit three monsters, and you couldn't get hit while using the skill, giving you a bit of an iframe back then. One of the more forgotten old-school Buccaneer second job skills is Oak Barrel. This skill acted as a dark side like skill and could be used to evade monster attacks. However, there was a chance to be spotted and then the barrel would break, giving some Metal Gear Solid vibes from this one. With the third job advancement back then, a Buccaneers finally learned about their energy management. This was the first gauge class to ever be released in Maple Story. Back then, it was just a small bar that would fill up as you were attacking monsters. Also, the transformation was pretty awesome back then, turning your character into a glowing ball of destruction while having a unique up jump animation and everything else. Back then, this class would fire off energy blasts hitting up to four monsters at once but this skill could only be used when you were transformed. They could use their drain energy skill to damage a single enemy and recover some HP and their main mobbing attack when transformed was called shockwave or static thumper which was incredibly slow even for that time and it could be used only when you were in a transformed state so buccaneers were mostly still using their second job skills while grinding because even at max level the transformation state was only available every eight minutes. By the way, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Make sure to hit the bell to never miss a video. In their fourth job, Buccaneers had even more attacks added to their arsenal and a super transformation, increasing their magic defense and lowering the time between transformations to a measly 6 minutes. Man, increasing magic defense. More recent Maplers might not know this, but back then there were more stats like physical defense, magical defense, accuracy, hands, all these type of weird stats were there back then. Maple Story was definitely a lot more complex back then. Dragon Strike was one of their mobbing skills that could actually hit up to 6 monsters for 810% damage, which was a crazy amount back then. No debuffs or anything, it was just an attack. Then there was Demolition, which was pretty cool, but these skills could also only be used when you were transformed. And of course, the Buccaneer was invincible during the attack as well. Even even their barrage skill, which hits one monster six times, had a massive window of invincibility because the attack was just so slow. You could speed things up slightly by using their backspin blow right after using barrage. Their other attacking skill was called Snatch, which kind of worked like Monster Magnet, drawing in monsters so you could punch them. So as you can tell, old school Buccaneers were hard hitting but had a very slow feeling playstyle with a ton of invincibility frames and even some animation cancelling in there. This playstyle would carry over after the Big Bang update in 2010, however with this update Date, a lot of their skill animations were made a lot faster, also increasing and streamlining their damage and attacks, like Barrage for example, which at first did a lot more damage on the final two lines, but afterwards it just got all streamlined and every line did a little bit more damage. With the Mutiny update in 2012, four years after the Pirate classes were released, the first big overhaul was introduced to this class. They lost their transformation and instead gained an energy thing behind their character, which definitely made them a lot less awesome looking. But the energized character wasn't gone though, as MapleStory at that time was in its every class must have at least one laser type firing like skill. Buccaneers could now fire lasers when they hit the four job advancement, which was pretty epic. During the Mutiny update, a lot of skills were changed for this class. For example, in second 
job. They could now shoot out tornadoes with their fist and their barrage skill was replaced with Octopunch. Of course, when your energy was fully charged, Octopunch would increase in size and damage. Also, your Corkscrew Blow no longer needed to be charged anymore and your Dragon Strike now left the debuff on monsters when it was used. The energy bar was still there, but the color got changed from blue to red, so there was that. Once the red update was released, the Buccaneer got a new visual for the transformation gauge. But besides that and some damage numbers, not really a lot changed over the years for the Buccaneer. I trained the Buccaneer to level 200 back in 2020 and Buccaneers were pretty much the same between Mutiny Red and 2020. They did gain a lot of popularity though after the 5th job advancement was added. This was mostly due to their unique way of grinding after the 5th job advancement using their Lord of the Deep skill. With this skill Buccaneers could basically, when strong enough, just walk monsters to death. After the 5th job advancement update, the big V update, Nexon struggled with enhanced fighter themes from the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th job and Sea Serpent themes from the 5th job. One thing to unify these better, there was another big overhaul to this class just a few weeks ago with the Destiny update. This update completely removed the energy management system and transformations from this class, instead fully embracing the Sea Serpent team. The Buccaneer got new toggle skills to unleash serpent attacks while they're using their mobbing and bossing skills to help deal additional damage. Buccaneers also got improved mobility, they finally got an up jump and Maples can use their dash in combination with a well-timed jump to jump really far. One of the few surviving old school skills for Buccaneer is Corkscrew Blow, which is still there and still functions in the same way as a way to animation cancel and as a dash. And of course other classic skills like Time Leap and Speed Infusion are still there as well. Looking at how the Buccaneers look now compared to before, the differences are pretty massive. Buccaneers went from a very slow, energy dependent, combo heavy class that at times was more invincible than not, to a very straightforward class with a ton of mobility with a Sea Serpent team, and that's it, no more energy management, no more transformations. This class looks pretty good right now in my opinion, even though I will forever miss the lasers and transformations. You can actually still get the old school transformation as a mount by talking to your 4 job instructor after doing the 4 job advancement. You have to complete a small quiz to get it. If you're a buccaneer yourself and you want to get it, the answers are as following. Samuel, none of the above, Static Thumper, an Iron Will and yes. So while you can no longer be an old school buccaneer, you at least can look like one. And that was all for today. Which class would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments. And as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Ast, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wine Lee, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Anwar NHI, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knife Suit, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Majaka, Ratius, Justin Veil, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord and the Score MS, Simak, Striker Elk, Tide One Pan, Victor Sunstrom, Radical Jaws, Riser RU, Gummy Bullet, Lovebird, Certito655, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Galando Balavia, PC Game Life, Dante Victory, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Undisappointed, Lucky Beats, Gabriel Eck, Pedro Benedetti, Conrad Castales, Ace Light, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Doc on a Talker Box, Muka1000, 2017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Pris Killer, Brandon Cam, Shake One, Vague Botnet, Feco, Gianfranco Calderon Canavero, Necro Dart, Martino Def Only, and Rashid Amarudi. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!